Hello, my name is Dana. I'm one of the co-founders at Coral UV. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Coral UV2 machine. Your package comes with the Coral UV2 sanitizer, the stainless steel basket, the user manual, and a HEPA filter. These two are additional add-ons that are available for purchase. They will also come in the stainless steel anti-rusting material. To open the Coral UV2, you press the front button and the lid will open. You're going to see plastic wrapping inside. What you need to do is to take one side of the plastic wrapping and peel it off like this. And you do the same from the top. You pick one side and you peel it off like this. It should come off super easily. This is the control panel of the Coral UV2. To turn on the cycle, press the on and off button. Now the cycle buttons are flashing. Let's say I want to do the sanitize only cycle and I push the sanitize only button. When the timer is flashing, I can keep pushing the same button to change my cycle time. When it lands on the number of minutes I want to run it at, I stop pushing and cycle will start running. Let me show you how to place the items in the chamber. The basket can be used to store smaller items. When you place the basket, it slides in like this, and it can move to the left or to the right. When you place the items, make sure the items are not too close to each other, and then do not stack items on top of one another. Once you're done placing them, close the lid, and choose your function cycle. These are the add-ons. This is the stand holder, and this is the square holder. I use the stand holder for tablets or wallets, anything that's flat, and I insert the tablet like this. And with the square holder, I use it for brushes or utensils, and I insert them like this. Just make sure the side you want to sanitize is facing up. The filter is located on the back of the machine. To release the filter, you take a coin or any flat object, you insert it in the guiding arrow, and then turn it to the unlock position, and the filter will be released. To put it back on, you do the reverse by turning it to the lock position, and the filter will be secured. Thank you so much for backing our project. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out.